Hey everyone, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a review of the newly released Hyde by Kirsten White. This was published last month in May. Kirsten White has written quite a few books before. She's probably got like a dozen under her belt, I would uh, guess. And I've read four of her books. One, not so much for me, but there was a series that she wrote called The Conqueror's Saga, which was kind of an alternate history book or series that was so, so good. And that one definitely had some gruesome elements to it because it was, uh, you know, about two countries that end up warring with each other. So I was really excited when I found out that not only is Kirsten White writing an adult novel, but it's also going to be a horror novel because I thought she did um, the gruesome parts in uh, the Conqueror Saga series really well. So I, you know, pre-ordered this, so excited when it came and it is really a beautiful book. I really love, of course, this nice dark yellow. My synopsis of this is going to be very brief and that's because a lot of this hinges on discovery, the reader's discovery as they're reading this book. And I don't want to take away anyone's reading experience. So basically what we know going into this is that there's a young woman, her name is Mac. She has had some sort of really tragic family event happen in her past. And now she is invited to enter this contest where 14 people get picked to go to an abandoned amusement park called the Amazement Park. And there they will sleep at like a base camp at night, but they have to hide before the sun comes up and anytime between sunrise and sunset, they might be found by a seeker and then they'll be out. And it's two people a day for seven days. And then, you know, the last person wins, I think it's like $50,000. And Mac knows she's very good at hiding and she is in a very desperate situation. So she decides to, you know, enter and she's pitched. She's one of these 14 people. So then we're following these 14 people and it does change points of view as the story goes along. Kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of broken down into like the different days that they spend in the amusement park. So day one, you get a little bit of each person's thing, like what they're doing, where they're hiding and so on and so forth. Of course, that gets whittled down a little bit as the days go on because people are found and are out. But we also know that there is something sinister going on within this park. And of course, you know, we wanna to get to the bottom of it as readers. I did like the majority of this book, uh, the most of the aspects of it. The POV swapping was, or wasn't, I suppose, a big deal for me during the, uh, you know, first couple days within this park um, with these characters. But as the characters got whittled down and we get to like the end, it's switching between people and it's not quite as um, obvious exactly whose point of view it is. So it'll be like she, and then you're like, wait, but which she, you know what I mean? there's more than one she at this point. So which she is she talking about? And, you know, I would have to reread and that just, I don't know, that's just a little thing, but it trips me up when stuff like that happens, you know what I mean? And then it's like, it takes me out of the story because I have to go back and reread and uh, pay closer attention, I guess, to what what's going on. I also felt like the reveal of what's really going on was interesting, but I really wish that the author would have drawn it out more, uh, more attention, more mystery, because once we figure it out, you know, once we're, we figure out what's going on, then it's, I don't know, it kind of lost its charm to me. And not that it wasn't as interesting or the book wasn't as good anymore, but it was like, I don't know, it just became a novelty then, you know what I mean? It just wasn't, it just wasn't as, mysterious after that. And I really would have liked 
to have that drawn out a little more, especially in such a short book. Like you, you can kind of figure out what's going on quite soon in the book, I think. Uh, or maybe not exactly what's going on, but like you have an idea of what it could be. And then once that's confirmed, you're like, oh, right? Okay. And you know, I enjoyed the rest of the story after that, uh, you know, because there is lots of story after that. But I wish that tension would have been thicker, you know what I mean? I wish I would have been like dying to know what was going on instead of just like curious to know what was going on. But all in all, like I enjoyed this book. I would definitely read more of Kirsten White's adult work. And I think that this is great for somebody who's looking for something set in an amusement park. This is 100% amusement park shit, you know what I mean? So um, that's that was really fun. I really, really did love the setting. And a great thing here, the uh, end pages or the, I don't think, are these end pages? Yeah, right? These are end pages. Uh, it's a map. It's a really cool map, not just like a black and white map. It's like a, you know, a map from the era when this park would have been built. Um, so that, I thought that was really cool. And yeah, I mean, I, one thing I also really liked about this was that once we uncover what's going on and, you know, there are like more reveals into the book, um, after, you know, the initial, like, what's happening kind of a thing and uh i did enjoy that because it was like you look back on what you've read and you're like oh that's why that happened and i really love when authors can successfully pull that stuff off when they when they give you a little it's not quite a red herring but when they give you a little clue or when someone acts a little bit strange and you're like that's kind of weird and then later you're like, oh, that's why that's happening. Oh, I love that. Love that, love that. So, like I said, I enjoyed Hyde by Kirsten White. It was short and really fast paced. I would recommend it. The The qualms that I have with it are very small compared to like what I enjoyed about the book. So, you know, it was a good book and I enjoyed my time with it. And like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to and hoping that Kirsten White write some more horror uh, or thriller kind of stuff out there. Some more dark themes. I love it. So that is Hide by Kirsten White. Let me know if I have convinced you to pick it up. I will have a link in my description of this video to like my bookshop.org affiliate page. And on there, I always have a list of like the new release books that I've been reviewing. And you can pick it up from there if you want or, you know, wherever. But that does help support uh, my channel. I'd love to know. I know some of you have read this and I'd love to know what you thought about it. That's all I have for you today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.